At Frost River, bags are made by hand. And our sewers come to work uh, in the same building that we sell all the stuff. We were about, at about 30 employees um, until last week. And um, obviously everyone's world has been turned upside down. So Turned upside down meant owner Christian Benson had to temporarily close Frost River's Duluth store and cut part-time staff. But that work stress is nothing like what his wife is going through. Uh, my wife is an anesthesiologist at St. Luke's Hospital. As an anesthesiologist, uh, she is on the front lines. They're very concerned about the uh, supply chain associated with uh, PPE is what they call it, personal protective equipment. Like N95 masks now in short supply across the country. With hospitals running low, businesses have stepped up. Like Fiat Dental in Minneapolis, which donated 500 masks and 1,000 gloves to Children's Minnesota. I'm saying, why are we making bags at this time when my wife is coming home absolutely panicked? Benson is offering to halt Frost River's production so his industrial sewing machines and the people who know how to use them can make masks and other protective equipment instead. I mean, I realize that an N95 mask is not something that we're going to be able to make, but I also know that what I can produce is better than a bandana tied around your face. He's now communicating with lawmakers and 3M, hoping to get in touch with someone who can give him the right fabric so they can turn from making bags to trying to make a difference. Jennifer Austin, CARE 11 News.